a drink? No, no, I, I know that it was specially done for us. Payment is not with issue. I just need the paper. Seems your special agent has special needs, trying to drown his sins and sorrows. Talk to Songbird via the relic. We can communicate again. Hmm. All good there, Reed? Yeah. I just need to process for a minute. It's just how I'm built. A little adversity, and I need a few moments to think. Come up with anything? Yeah. We now know who took a swipe of Myers' head. Thinking Songbird planned the whole thing. You're thinking right. Don't know about you, but I see coincidences as patterns. Structures we have yet to recognize. Huh. What you driving at? SF-1 crashes. Not anywhere, but over specific turf. Controlled by someone who found some obscure forgotten tech in a secret bunker. Right. Crash was an inside job. We suspected that from the get-go. Now we know it was. And we know it was Songbird. She was behind it. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking too. The minute she mentioned the cure said Hansen has it. Everything just started sliding into the right boxes, completing the picture. Yeah. Same here. She made a deal with Hansen earlier. Had to. Before any of this went down. Traded the president's life for access to the tech. The NUS press sold to a crime lord. Huge. If true. Myers pressured Somi to reach further, breach boundaries. And then Somi snapped. If there's truth to this, Song's guilty of high treason. Her and her actions, I won't judge. Not my place. As I see it, Somi was playing both sides, simultaneously spinning deals with Hansen and you. She has Hansen set, then you come in. She contacts you via the relic, asks you to rescue the president. Absolution for her right there. You need to cure just as much, guaranteeing you'll help if her plan falls through. And here we are. Yeah, and here we are, rushing to Songbird's rescue. Thinking a few steps ahead was always her strength. But judgment calls and situational assessment, her Achilles heel. As a chess master, she'd be famous for dazzling plays and excruciatingly beautiful defeats. I'll trust her. Trust she'll keep her word. Promise me the cure, and I fully intend to get it. Only thing that matters, really. I'd be careful. Mind sharp. Eyes and ears attuned. But I know Somi well enough to know she'll do her damnedest to be fair. So, what are you thinking about all this? I'm not convinced Somi's to blame for everything. In this trade, nothing's ever as it seems. You gotta keep asking questions till you get to the bottom of it. That's experience talking. Main thing now is to get her out of this cesspool of a sitch. Then we'll see which direction to take. Right. Still should watch her every move closely. Sure. Unconditional trust? No more. Out the window. Right. Back to the sitch at hand. What do we have to do to save her? To grab the tech Songbird and I both need, we gotta go to a meet with Hansen. Prep for it's required. Cause we show up as a pair of runners. Need to collect their identities first, whatever that means. Personality imprint theft. Sounds like our Colombian job of yore. Who are they and where do we find them? 
So how's one go about it? Clubbing someone's personality? FIA Menanthropic Tech. Alex has access. You seem to use it already. You look, sound, and act like the individual whose personality you assume. To do it, we need scans of our targets. Song got this shard to me. Take a look. Our targets are a brother and sister, red-haired twins. They're here somewhere, schmoozing. Hmm. Okay, we need to pull data. Get samples of assorted behavior. We make contact with them, talk, scan as we talk. Got it. I think. So, time to make our move? Over there. Wow. Traced them to Flash, Reed. Noticed them some time ago. They stand out even in this mountain pot. Twin roulette, looks like. Alex, you copy that? Radio loud and clear. Prep and scan tech now. You're new to this, but relax. We'll do it as a four-hander. I scan one, you handle the other. Alex will pilot us through. B, zipping funds your way from our operating budget. Load up on chips and join their game. Just don't go all in from the get-go. We stagger our approach, and we're strangers. Let's get to this. Struck gold with roulette, really. Gambling throws people around, high and low, brings the joy of winning and the despair of defeat. Perfect for our purposes. Greetings, madam. Wanna buy some chips? Of course. Good luck at the tables. V, important. You're not there to have fun. Simple bets, red or black only. None of the double street or basket bullshit, understood? Understood. Three. Will you join oh, us? Red. Place your bets, please. Betting's open? By all means. Make it red. Relax. Buy him drinks, break the ice. I'll join you momentarily. All bets are in. Bidding is closed. What? No introduction? V. You? Aurore Cassel. And that girl is my brother, Emery. What's your poison? My treat. A bourbon for me. Alas, mon frère does not drink. You heard the lady. And real water for the gentleman here. And what'll you have? Same as the lady. Bourbon coming up. Your drinks will be here shortly. One. Odd. Red. Hey, merde! Place your bets, please. <gasps> Last chance. Red. Let's go, let's go. V. Can't get a hold of Reed. No idea where he is. Stall for time, okay? Hmm, I just realized. Uh, you must have dirt beneath your fingernails, too. Like all these bastards and bitches. That is, unless you're uh, in tourist. Like the no-lifers who must watch others live to feel anything. Provocative, this one. Yeah. Conscience ain't sparkling clean. No. Mmm, I like those who brag about such things. Fifteen. Odd. Black. A defeat. Ah! Is she fucking done here? Duh! <sighs> Place your bets, please. Can't help feeling I uh, interrupted something when I walked up. Do not worry yourself about this. Oh, come, come. V is just being cordial. Miss Pavi, you weren't snooping just now, were you? Odd. Red. Still no sign from Reed, V. Got a sinking feeling about this. Place your bets, please. Eight's my magic number. Ah, oh, you got me. <laughs> On to you big time. But in my defense, you guys stand out. 
even in a crowd like this one. Oh, really? Listening to conversations of strangers can be... dangerous. Sometimes you can hear more than you can handle. Listen, Reed's MIA for now, can't wait for him. Gotta do both scans on your own. We were discussing local politics, specifically our host, Monsieur Kurt Hansen. Big fish selling big guns for big money. Yet here you have celebrities, politicians, even the chief of police. So I was thinking, uh, perhaps Hansen would do better by being a veritable businessman, no? I claim he would. Mon cher frère disagrees. 21. Odd. Red. Ugh. Guess it's not my lucky day. Place your bets, please. Who is Kurt Hansen really? A crucial question. Tread carefully with that duo, V. Certainly not liable to become a taxpaying, law-abiding night citizen. Kickbacks to NC officials. Are they not taxes, not protection money? Doing business carries a price. Dogtown needs Night City to prosper. Hansen needs it. Une diversification of profit centers makes sense. I myself have a small firm in Paris. My stand-in takes calls, arranges meetings, and deflects, deflects, deflects. Why would he need that? Hansen! Uh, providing weapons to banana republics is not quite a sure and stable business. 28. Even. Black. Place your bets, please. Tu ne serais pas en train de devenir trop pote avec elle. Oh, fais pas ton jaloux, petit frère. C'est pas comme si on allait baiser, elle et moi. Pretty shameless bastard, aren't you? Oh, I agree. I mean, Hansen could take Dog down by the throat, eject the junkies, and make it a paradise for billionaires. Just getting rich is dull. You should work for the community. Invest, create jobs, throw banquettes. She's getting chatty. Doing good, V. And charities are excellent washing machines. You launder billions, believe me. Twelve. Even. Red. Place your bets, please. You're so childish. It's beautiful. What? Hansen going missionary position in business? Nonsense. <sighs> Reed's still not responding. But you keep working it. Let's go. Swap twins. And basically owns Dogtown. Could use that as leverage. And who would Hansen be? The mayor? Please. He is very good at what he does. A professional criminal. Soldier yesterday, crime lord today. Why not Biz Shark tomorrow? Yet he is a businessman. And to make it legal, it is a lot of work to do for a simple change of labor. Good. Little worms opening up. Seven. Odd. Red. Oh, putain! Place your bets, please. Don't got much respect for upright, honest peeps, do you? Allow me to say, V. Arms or property, it would make no difference to me what I sell. And to spend five years on efforts to uh, change how people see you, call you, to be upstanding in the eyes of others, I could not give a shit. 20, even, black. Please. Getting there. Almost got it. Give me something big now. Make them laugh or cry, I don't care. Please place your bets. How about we go all in? Bet everything we won tonight. <gasps> and we play different colors, yes? You win or we do. And either you or we lose all. 
My thoughts exactly. A moment. You joined the table, buy drinks, talk and talk. Now you wish to risk everything? I find this disquieting. Perhaps you could now tell us about yourself. Tread lightly. Name's V, Afterlife Affiliated. Make what you will of it. Oh, are you happy now? You choose first, then. I'm seeing red coming. Black for us, then. some folks leave us for a moment if you please a goodbye then I know your friend Reed is FIA my natural assumption is you're an agent too I'm also guessing you two took it upon yourselves to save the president then exfil her out of Dogtown. I should send you back to Night City in body bags, filled with pieces. You trying to scare me? Dunno. Are you afraid? We're just talking, aren't we? Wow, you cracked it. Clever man. To be honest, I got tired of the media circus. All the allegations thrown in my face. The bullshit propaganda. Luckily, we can put all that behind us now. Oh, so you couldn't be happier we saved Myers after your botched hit. Right. Think you believe that less than I do. I will let you and Reed walk free of this place, in one piece, on your own two feet. Consider it a gesture of my goodwill. Your little bird came to me on her own, though. She was tired of breaking international laws on the president's whim. She simply had to run away. Breaching the black wall? Jeopardizing the net, all humankind's safety, in fact, for personal gain? I wonder what Netwatch would say. Pass it on to President Myers. Also tell her, her toy of mass destruction is my friend now. And she should get the fuck out of my backyard, or the world will learn about her games. I've matters to attend to. You'll find Mr. Reed downstairs. Okay, V. Got all we need. Okay. What do I do now? Haul ass out of there. Son of a bitch that I'd find Reed downstairs. Yeah, heard him. Wasn't crazy about his tone. Time to evac, V. Best not tempt the fates. Head to the elevator, ride down to one. Need to know what's up with Saul. Hey there, Lizzie. V, what are you doing here? I could legitimately ask you the same. <laughs> yeah, I might be a little out of place, but I get around. And dog tail, well. It always gets me blood first. Fortunately, I have darling Avi here. Avi's my new bodyguard. The best I've ever had, if a little too overprotective. Pleasure, Avi. Headset's Nova, Lizzie. <laughs> like it? Here, it's yours then. For real? Sure, got loads of them. 
You'll look like you're on Team Wiz Wiz. It's liable to take you places. I want you to have it. Wow. Thanks, Lizzie. Next release? Planned? Maybe in the work? Works already? Kinda. For now, though, I'm obsessed with galaxies, nebulae, and sea turtles. Uh, uh-huh. Care to elaborate? <laughs> v, with that, you know more than my producer. Patience, please. You'll just have to wait. Looking like you're about to delta out of here. Making my exit soon, yeah. But from one party on to another, a chum of mine from Legos is throwing one on his yacht. Friends, fireworks, diving, a private fashion show. Hmm, shame. Some R&R &R out on the water would do good. But I'm sure you're like, super busy. Plus, knowing him, there's gonna be drama, so I'm totally sparing you. Totally, thanks. Hey, how are you holding up? Last time we saw each other was, you know. I'm doing great. Really inspired me. Never felt better. Yeah, never felt better. Hope it stays that way. Enjoy your evening, Lizzie. Take care, V. And you keep skating along that edge. So fun! I'll be ready to bug out of here in five. Up to you, though. Oh, is it to me? Come on. You act like you enjoy the jawing of these podium pounders and career criminals. Yeah. Thought as much. In that case, I'm gonna hollow the landing pad. Unless... Is there anyone else you want to talk to? Well, I was hoping to have a word with Kurt about that. Other bits. I can talk to him for you. No, don't bother. Another time, I suppose. You know, you shouldn't be talking to him. That man looks dangerous. Even for Lizzie Wizzy. You know my thoughts on this. All too well. I mean, you listen? <laughs> Obviously. Answers? Toughest ass rocker girl ever. Took her own life when I was nine. Were she here, she'd fucking burn the stage down. Blow everyone and everything up to high heaven. Did I need to know this because... I'd give all the parties I ever went to, including this one, to see her live and in concert just once. That's why. Now let's delta the fuck out of here while you still got the chance. dirt on Myers. Can't imagine it happening. But if the public learns that any U.S. president willingly broke international laws governing cyberspace use... Then USA's fucked. 
Myers will either have to take the fall, let herself be buried in dirt for this, or she'll defy the world and spark another war. Fuck me. Songbirds are walking, talking to me all day. And Hanson's got her on a tight leash. And he can prime her for use whenever he wants. Listen, V, we need to get her out. For everyone's sake. Oh, just once I'd like to see things go smoothly, as planned. This feels so very, very wrong. You and your chum best be headed the fuck out now. Straight on from here, gonna walk you two out. Come on, V. No reason to hang. Oh, yeah? Make me. No, V. Let's just go. That's our cue to leave!
status, all good? Alex said you went into runners on your own. Got the scans. How could you spill where you been? What happened? Had us worried. The op was on the way. I didn't want to jeopardize it, so when confronted, I behaved. They cornered me, got me before we could meet up. Forget the rest. How'd it go at the table? Anything to worry about? Hansen showed up, we chatted, threats were made, actually. Said if Myers doesn't let up, world will learn about Songbird, about Pierce and the Blackwall. He clearly knows what Somi means to the President. Personal WMD, you mean? Yeah, Hansen knows all. Need to get her the fuck out, Reed. Really? I was afraid of this. Okay. V, Alex and I have work. We need to analyze the data from Songbird. Might take a day or two. Prem, open comms line then? Sure. We'll work out a game plan. Get back to you ASAP. Oh, and V, bang up work. Hey, V. Recon 
Ion's in our rear view now. Get yourself ready and meet me at Alex's. Sure. See you there. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. How'd someone like you end up here? My owner bought me from some junk dealers, revamped, reprogrammed, and finally infused me with her spirit. Gabe Earth and this unhappy wretch in tomb. Or change my form whence all my sorrows come. The tree still planted in the unfinished part, not wholly vegetative, and heaved her heart. Uh, your programming sounds ancient. What can I get you? What you got in stock? This food and drink dog town's got to offer, huh?
been here before, Reed. Exactly like that. Remember last time we had this convo? I do. And yes, the rules is not that different. Ah, V, you're here. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Back on the same page, are we? Not exactly. Brings back a lot of memories, all this. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked an op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the op there? We had our size trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You seeing the FIA pull strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission, too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. Think we can spare 60 seconds? Hell, might even learn something about So Me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own essay in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his dopamine. Spending big money on Kit's luxury. It was kind of his M.O. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. The problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Then, she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. What did you do? Well, my hands are bound, got a sack on my head, hear a collapsible baton snap into place, flack. I did what anyone do in that sitch. I lied my fucking ass off. Don't sit quite straight to this day, though. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. the intel from the shard Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Save her. I know. And not just her. Ladder goes for you, too. Right. Our objective to free show me from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue op. Because. Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. Consequence of her service to the NUS and President Light. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech whys and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, I'll kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So, this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter Arasaka's soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. 
All right. Plan. Let me hear it. Hanson and me with the net runners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close. To Song and the Matrix. Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hanson access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hansen's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Hey, Marik and Aurora Cassell. We knew anything more beyond what we saw firsthand. Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay is better on the dark side. I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck, because they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hanson. So we kidnap them. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental while in NT. An exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it. Before they reach Hanson at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavioral imprints are tuned already. And your role in all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your exfil route. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem-free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hanson? Right. Where well, you'll sell them the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hansen and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird. We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much as hell. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. How much have you told Myers? What's she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talked about nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute. You know Reed better than I do, what he thinks. What's his true aim here? Saving so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her, always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality, life. With mixed results, mind you. <laughs> and so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. And any for your thoughts, Alex? About all this? Honestly? Still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep. Saddled you with the Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think... Think we were both waiting for something. Like, the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those, 
we find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. Stations. How do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. Find it hard to believe taking one station will be enough. Rental agency's got rare rides to protect. Hmm. See if I can find more info. If the one's not enough, we'll improvise. So breach the station, trace the car. Good, what then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. You know, Kabuki's tech wizards sell similar stuff under the counter. Would never call it reliable. Well, fed tech wizards are just more skilled than Kabuki's. Better be. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. <laughs> 